Hello, faith family. I'm going to give you an encouraging word about what the Lord has been speaking to me about this time where the principality um, of poverty is hovering over so many homes, so many people in this hour, um, <clears throat> and so much torment is clouding people have really clouded mind mindsets right now they're not able to think clearly uh because of all of the wickedness that is in the world all the curses that are on coming upon people and the tormenting thoughts that are coming upon people so i just want to encourage you um to continue running your race and i'm going to read something that's gonna help hopefully um help you in this time of need. I am in Hebrews chapter 12. I'm just going to read verse 1. <clears throat> Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us or distract us or take us away from our focus, right? That clouds our mind, right? And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. I have a lot of people right now that I am not super close. I'm close with. I love them very much. But the Lord has separated me from them because the Lord does not allow his chosen people to be in close covenant, in close proximity to those that are suffering from tormenting thoughts and it's sad that so many people I know and that I care about that are very close to me are suffering right now from tormenting thoughts um and so I can see that and I and I go to the Lord I'm praying right now I'm worshiping in my office right now because I know there's just so much coming against you know uh, you know God's chosen people us faith-filled people and I want to encourage you that it says in here to run the race with patience. Now, I'm not really a runner, but when I think about running or anything like to do with not walking, like going fast, right? You're going fast when you run, right? But it says to run with patience. And when I think about patience, it's like an oxymoron. Like when you're running, you're hurrying. And when you're patient, you're sitting and you're waiting and you're trusting. Right? And the biggest thing that the Lord has been speaking to me is, Sarah, you just have to give it time. These people that are being tormented, these people that have, you know, brain fog from <clears throat> just being in sin, these people that you love and that you care about, um, you know, to no fault of their own, you know, just, you know, they need the keys, they need the knowledge, they need the wisdom, and they need to sit still long enough to be held by God, right? If you, if you can't sit still, you won't be able to be held. And I've done many years of sitting still. I'm sitting still right now in my office. I'm not going out and being in the world of the world. I used to, and I had a lot of tormenting thoughts because of it. Uh, so I just want to encourage you that that right now it might not look it's not it's not what it seems right but just give it time just give it a little more time i love you all be blessed